Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Soul Set, where we're going to do Varen's Root. I think it's relatively short, but I wanted to give myself some time in between it. And now that we're done with Backstage Pass, we are here. And, uh, this line right here basically sums up how I feel about this whole undertaking. I have a bad feeling about this. Apris might ignore Marco's message and just stay out in the courtyard for all I know. Waiting for him here behind the door might be stupid. But wait, someone's coming. Our doom. I knew this would happen. Shit, so much for an ambush attempt. Ugh, my arm! Damn, he's strong. There's no way I can overpower him. Was this your own initiative or did someone set you up to do this? Does it matter at this point? I just tried to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what? My, my. Someone, Someone made this easy for me. me. Isn't this an offering on a silver platter? Gold one, even. <gasps> Holy crap. Those eyes. Don't tell me. Hmm. You're, You're a pretty, pretty one. one. Shit, I can't breathe. He's going to... It's, it's such, such a pity our paths will have, have to part here. here. He's going to strangle me! Let... Go! So much for our parts... Our parts pathing? Yes. Our paths parting, Varen. Varen! What, what did, did you say? say? <coughs> How, How the, the hell, hell do you know, know my name? name? I... Don't know. I just do. I remember solving some kind of riddle. Mm-hmm. I have no idea when it happened, but the memory is just there in my head somehow. Also, I think Feather told me some things regarding demons once. You're Varen, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> and now that I know your name, I don't think she obeys anybody. <laughs> But I don't think she can actually hurt me. You can't hurt me anymore. Is that, Is that what, what your mother, mother told, told you? We should, should give that theory a try. try just, just to be sure. sure. Now, if I only squeeze his hand hard enough... Let go of me! Huh? Whoa, what? Hey! Really? Is that how you make him transform? What? Surprised? I bet you didn't expect Apris to be possessed by a female demon. Like what you see, Marco? This is my true form. How does that even work? How does that work? Can you just change your appearance at will? Having a hard time comprehending? You can touch me if you need some physical proof. Um... What happens to Apris when you take over him like this? Why would you care about Apris when you have me? Heh. <laughs> She's going to raise the commotion if anyone sees her right now. But I can't just keep her locked inside of a room forever. Not to mention, it would be foolish to leave her on her own. I'm currently the only person who has some kind of power over her. What happened to the whole murder plan, Mariko? That's how we got here. Basically, I need to keep her on a leash so that she doesn't hurt anyone. Also, I need to be careful with her name. I mustn't mention it in anyone's presence. Well, she remembers quite a bit. I trust you to be at least a little bit civil. And if you don't behave... What? Are we going to be holding hands forever now? A little squeeze is all we need. Uh, fine, fine. I get it. Stop doing that already. Who would have known demons have such soft hands? <laughs> Hi, Marco. Marco? Hey, Marco. As you can see, not everything went as planned, but... I managed to get this under control, I think. Is that... Apris? Yeah. 
Well, what turned out to be inside of him, anyway. Believe me, I'm surprised as you are. Yvonne? Oh, right. We put her on the sofa here. Are the effects of the powder wearing off? <laughs> I guess so. Hey, Yvonne. How are you feeling? Mr. Marco? Miss Marco? You're probably angry, and you have every right to. But as you can see, Apris is fine. Is that... Mr. Apris? Do I look like Apris to you? I can see that guy gathered quite the fan club. Just consider this. His female alter ego of sorts. Either way, Yvonne. We'd appreciate if what happened in the library could stay just between us. For both Shira's and Shira's sake. And ours, too. All right. I can stay quiet about this. Thank you, Yvonne. Because otherwise we would have had to murder you next. Honestly, Yvonne is too kind for her own good. We practically assaulted her, and she lets it go just like that? Not that we should be complaining. I hope she has a plan up her sleeve. Inner me. Guys, I know this might be weird and a little out of the blue, but I'd like you to meet. What should we call you anyway? You're asking me? Whoa, what the hell? Where did she come from? Damn lady, put some freaking pants on! You know, now that Shara points it out, don't you want to wear something? Why? Does the sight of my skin burn your eyes? Have you never seen a nigga woman before? Well, I just think it might be distracting to some of us here. Let them be distracted, then. You think I care? At least Mr. Rappers isn't here to see this. Hmm. Mr. Marco, I can cover your eyes. The sight of a nude woman isn't anything new to me, Yvonne. I I isn't Please, stop treating me like some kind of child. Aren't you a cheerful bunch? <laughs> well, it's nice meeting you, um... <laughs> sure, she's come back with the colors. <laughs> Should we call her... Blue? What? Why did I have the feeling someone would suggest that? Would you like some tea, Miss Blue? Or something to eat, perhaps? Is she always like this? Yes. I'm out of here. One more minute with these people and I'm going to suffer from cavities. Hey, whoa there, Missy. You're not going anywhere without me. Aw, you guys are all so sugary sweet. Oh, she's still here, the demon lady. Nice garden. Apris used to come here a lot. Did he now? Is it longing in your voice that I hear? Hmm. Let me guess. He was sitting by the fire the whole time. Aren't you aware of what he's been doing? Not really. We're never conscious at the same time. When one person's in charge, the other's usually asleep. So he's asleep now. He'll take over once he's strong enough to do so again. It's an endless cycle for us like that. I see. How long does it usually take? A few days. I don't need sleep like he does, though. Would you mind telling me what you brought me here for already? You're the one who dragged me here. I don't mean this shady aisle. I mean this whole place in general. Oh. Well, that's kind of what we're trying to figure out, too. Don't play dumb with me. An idiot would drag a demon anywhere without knowing what they were doing. Varen, we lost our memories. What? None of us remembers how we got here or why we're here to begin with. Cute. Are you about to tell me that you know nothing about that over there, either? About what? That! Whoa, wait. Who is that? Don't move, I'm going to get the others. This is so interesting. 
Whoa, what the hell? This person wasn't there before, were they? Wait, where is she? Varen. Where did Varen go? I told her to stay here. Shit, how could I be so careless? She's dangerous on her own. Great. Demon hunt. It really? I guess demons have to bath too? There you are. Thank the heavens. One crisis averted. Fancy. I thought I told you to stay where you are. So? Since when do I have to listen to you? You know, I've been wondering. If I squeeze your tail hard enough, will it give the desired outcome too? Oh, for the love of... Cut that out! Are you planning to drown me now? That's for misbehaving. From now on, I want you to stay close to me at all times. How romantic. Well, since we're already here, why don't we take a bath together? What? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Um... What is she plotting? One wrong move, Varen, and I am going to drown you. Can you drown demons? Is that a thing? I guess. <laughs> oh, what? Why did you change back? Oh, I, I see, see the, the form, form seems, seems to fluster, fluster you more. It's just more intimidating, I guess. Or maybe it's because I know how Apris normally looks like that this seems all the more creepy. Hmm. If, if you say, say so. Thank you. Is it better like this, then? Come on, while the water's hot. Bathe while the water's hot. So, what is it that you wanted to talk about? Why don't we make a deal? Making deals with demons. What can possibly go wrong, I wonder? I could help you get out of here. I might even kill that other demon outside of the barrier for you. Is she being serious? In exchange for what? A night with you. Um... Wait, let me rephrase that. A long, passionate night with you. What do you say? Why are you proposing something like this? Why? Because I'm bored out of my fucking mind, that's why. And you're a pretty lass that so happens to make me a little weak in her presence. In more ways than one. She finds me attractive? Ay ay ay. Well, deals with demons are never going to end well. So we'll make a deal, because that, if that doesn't lead to a bad ending, I don't know what will. Deal. I love people who don't overthink things and know what they want in life. Now that that's established, I'm feeling generous today. I'll let you choose. What form would you rather get down and dirty with? The real me or the apris me? The Apris you? Wait, you'd like to sleep with me while being in the body of a man? Do you see a problem with that? Well, wouldn't that be weird for you? Using a guy's body to do this kind of thing, I mean? Why would it be weird? Sweetie, I've been stuck with Apris for years now. You honestly think I didn't get used to it by now? Doing it while being a guy does feel different, but it's definitely not something to complain about. And hell, I enjoy having people squirm underneath me. Being male has its perks. Hm. What about Apras? What about him? How does he feel about you using his body in such a way? He's not conscious while I take control. What the eye doesn't see, the heart doesn't grieve over. So he doesn't even know you've been using his body in such ways. Well, he might have some ideas. He's not that stupid. Just don't get me wrong. Doing things the way I am right now can be just as fun. 
I may not have some obvious body parts that would make things a tad easier for us, but I do have a pretty flexible tail. I can do all sorts of magic with it. So, which is it going to be, Marco? Well, we're on her route, so she can stay as she is. Stay the way you are. Oh, did my tail intrigue you? Or are my curves simply more appealing to you than Afros's? Not that it really matters to me. Though I'm flattered nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Flattered. Good. Come on, let's go back to the mansion and have some fun. I hey, didn't want to do it in the bathhouse like Afros did. I actually agree to this. Getting cold feet already? Here, let me help you. I'll be sure to distract your mind from any pesky doubts you might still have. Mm. Shit! She just bit my neck! What is she... Oh. Oh! Hello! Whoa! Hello! Hello, 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 everybody. There are boobs everywhere. <laughs> hey, I liked that dress. You'll find yourself a new one. Hmm. You have some nice perky breasts. They're just begging to be bitten. Okay. Oh, gods. Varen! Careful now. Don't want to scream my name too loud. Someone might overhear. It would suck to have someone die while I'm having my way with them in bed. Slow down a little. This hurts. You're being too rough. Oh, really? What did you expect while signing up for sex with a demon? Did you actually think I would be gentle with you? Well, no, but a bit of foreplay would be nice. Hey, hey! Careful with those claws! My tail is bad. My fingers are bad. What do you want me to do? Stick a horn up your ass? I'd appreciate if I survived my night with you, thanks. You humans and your pesky demands. You want foreplay? Fine, then. Show me what good use you can make of that mouth of yours. If you perform well, I might even return the favor. Varen wants me to... Yeah. Yeah. Go get... Whatever keeps me alive, I guess. You just go. Don't describe it, please. Just fast forward. Okay. No? Are we in the middle? Ugh. Hmm. You're quite good at this. Not your first time going down on someone, is it? I wouldn't know. I don't remember. Well, your body seems to remember just fine. But we're starting to get off topic here. Less talking, more licking, Mariko. As long as I can fast forward, that'd be great! Not your first time going down on someone either, is it? Hmm? Enjoying yourself that much? Well, we're starting to... get... somewhere. Hold on tight, Marco. The night is long. I wonder... How many times can I make you come before you pass out? <laughs> um... Well, if we can just skip past all of that... Then we'll know! Or not know. Not knowing's better. Varen? Shit. My whole body is sore. I can barely move. I knew a night with her would be one hell of a ride, but... Hmm. Let's look on the bright side. At least she didn't kill me. And I actually... enjoyed this to a degree. I do hope she's going to stick to her end of the deal, despite everything. Well... I guess we'll find out. Where are we going? Oh, hello. Hello, love. Did you sleep well? Where is everybody? Everybody? You'll have to be more specific than that. Farron, did you? Well, I promised to help you get out of here. And I'm planning to stick to my word. Your pesky friends were never mentioned. 
Oh, she got me good. Baron, you got me good. Uh, you can't be serious. Feel free to look for them. I got creative and hit them in all kinds of interesting places. She... Don't tell me she killed everyone. Marco, you failed your one... You had one job and you failed. Look on the bright side, love. At least Apris is still alive. I would have a hard time getting rid of him, considering. You still want to get out of here, right? Once you're done blaming yourself for something you might have probably averted, come outside. Phew. I could have... This was our plan all along, wasn't it? Oh, Mariko. What did you expect, girl? Are all lost souls gathered here with us today? Hmm. Wonderful. Here's a question. Have any of you tried simply walking through the barrier? What? Of course we tried. Apra said he kicked the barrier and that it didn't budge. Apra, you say? And none of you got the idea to question that and double check it for yourselves? Why do you think Apra's couldn't walk through it? Uh, if he'd be able to do that, I wouldn't be in here right now. Wait, don't tell me. Demons can't walk through that barrier, Mariko. But humans can. You've got to be kidding me! Yes, off you go. You're the only remaining human inside of the barrier right now. Once you step outside, the barrier should dissolve. Just like that? Just like that?! Ugh. I can still feel it pulsing just as intensely as before. I just... Didn't even think to try and get any closer than that. It simply felt dangerous to do so. It's like trying to get closer to a magnetic field while being pushed in the other direction. But if I can actually... Did it work? What about the demon outside? It worked! Holy crowley. I can't believe this. I'm outside and the barrier is... This means she really did kill everyone, and it's all my fault. If only I hadn't agreed to that deal of hers. Okay. Where are you hiding that son of a bitch? If you don't surrender him to me, I'm going to kill every last one of you assholes. My, my. Such a filthy tongue you got there, sister. So she wasn't after me? Who is this poor soul you seem to have the hearts for? Spare, Spare me the sweet talk. I know, know that Valenci scum is somewhere in here. Oh, she's in here for Feather. Don't, Don't even try to deny it. Valenci? She's after Feather? Wait, Wait who, who the hell are you? Are you? You reek of the blur nose. I thought I already killed all of you. What? What? Ah! Uh, hey. There. Hmm. I thought you would dodge that. Oh well, my bad. I already got what I wanted from you, though. So it's not like I'm going to cry over this unfortunate turn of events. Varen, you bitch. You... tricked me. I'm a demon, Marika. It's what I do. Ah, this, this is beautiful. beautiful. How, How does, does it feel, feel little Anne? Anne? How, How does, does it feel knowing, knowing you just killed, killed your whole family with your, your own hands? <laughs> Anne! Mary Anne! It's my mother! It's my mother! That's why she looked kind of familiar. My mom's been alive all this time, too? Wow. Okay. No clues to be found in Varen's route. But I got bad ending. 
Oh my goodness. Baron's bad ending A. We learned so much from that. Wow we. Wow we. So we learned humans can just walk through the barrier and it would go down. And our mother is the demon lady and she was not after us. Not really. She's after Feather for some reason right now. And she didn't realize that Marianne's daughter was still alive. Holy mackerel! Alright! Alright, alright, alright. Well, that was bad. <laughs> ending A and we died again. But now we'll go into the normal end and see what happens. See you there, guys. <laughs>